Greetings, welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Today I'm here to share this book with you, so let's go ahead and take a look. So this one is a custom order. I was asked to make a book that had daisies. So I used a digital kit for this and it was basically filled with daisies. I will link it down below so you can uh, find that information if you're looking for it. But on the cover here, I've just used this lady and she's uh, got a bunch of daisies on her and then I used these two little embroidery flowers and then layered some papers and fabric behind. I did use some yellow lace over the, uh, the spine of the book. And then on the back I used this vintage little trim, but I love it because it kind of looks like, you know, old vintage daisy sort of. So the book is three signatures and let's go ahead and get started. So I have tags in here that, that can be written on the back of, obviously. There's a little bit of um, stuff on the edges here. I wanted to use some colors that I kind of thought would look kind of like the white daisies with lace and some gold and green. Um, so I just think that looks really pretty and flower-like. Some gardening book pages in here. There are some tags that can be written on. I did a little bit of stamping. There's a little pocket here with a journaling card here and a little envelope right here. There's a little banner tuck spot here. I did put some page tabs on that came with the kit so they do have little daisies on them as well. And then here there's an envelope in this pocket and a little booklet on the inside that says Daisy. And then I just latched it over the side piece here like that. And then in this pocket you have a little envelope. And I believe, yeah, I just tucked some extra little pieces from the kit in there. And then the, there's also these little file folders that are really cute. Some washi and stamping. There's another envelope in here. Another little daisy journaling card. So that's the first signature. Definitely some space for writing in this book as well. Um, some of these I backed on really heavy cardstock so that you can do some really good journaling back there and some of them are backed on coffee stained paper. Little piece of Edith Holden bumblebee. There's the center. And on these pages, like if you have photos or things like that that you want to um, tuck in, maybe you have a garden or maybe you've got taken pictures of daisies over the years, this is a great place to add those. Really nice. So there's a couple more tags. So I know that she really loves daisies. So I hope that she enjoys this because it's literally filled to the brim with daisies, daisies for days. <laughs> Did I? Okay, no, not yet. Just a couple little tags down there. This one shimmies out. 
uh, you could put it this way if you'd rather. Standing up. Oh, so this page here is a top loading pocket and you have a jumbo uh, journaling card or you can put a photo on there. But that just slides right into this big page pocket. There's another little booklet here. Tucked it into the pocket and then here we have a little tag and I put some sari on there and then another little coin envelope. I think those are really nice if you want to save some things that you might, you know, even if you press flowers, I think those are always nice. So this is a big jumbo jumbo tag. So I'm happy with this and there are lots of pages in here for you to be able to do things with. So. Um, yeah, I think, um, I think I'm happy with this. I know I'm happy with this and I hope she is too. There's my stamp and that is it. Alright, I hope you have enjoyed this flip through and I it's really nice to see these really bright and vibrant colors. The lighting is gloomy today so you're not probably getting the full effect but what, what are you going to do? <laughs> Alright, so that is going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into and until next time. Toodaloo.